Hello friends, I am Prakash Nath. Welcome to my CSS tutorial. This is my second tutorial. Let us we learn how to create or how to use inline CSS internal CSS and external CSS. As we know, CSS is used to beautify HTML elements. Let us create one HTML page here. I am I have used HTML page structure. Just save this page as CSS demo dot HTML. Let us apply just Line uh, right here demo page after executing let us check output now this is a simple HTML page okay let's add some beauty by using inline CSS here is the body tag in this tag I am going to write style attribute is equal to let's apply some beauty as a background let's take background color as a pink and foreground color that is color as a brown use semicolon this is a property the background and a value of that property is a pink similarly by using semicolon i can write multiple properties this is the color and using colon i have write a brown let's save and run this page now this is what our page look like this background color and foreground color is a brown in this way i have applied inline css let us apply internal CSS to same page just remove this save page as CSS demo 1 dot HTML now demo page 1 let us apply internal CSS to write internal CSS we use style tag in a head write style tag here it is a pair tag to apply CSS we can use different method in this me first method where we will copy name of our tag and write the CSS class here I have copy body name let's write down property and value I have used background as red and text color as a white you can apply your own classes but first we learn a simple method where we can use a tag name as a class name for a CSS this is a simple example of internal CSS let us run this page now this is the output here is a background color become a red and foreground is a white we can apply our own class here let us I want to apply my own class name remove this name of a class to apply your own class name we need to use a dot and then given name that is pg I have you can write any name your own defined name then to apply this class that is you can apply this class to any tag let us apply to body to apply we need to use class attribute and name of that class is bg let us check okay this is what simple this is the second method here in first method i have used tag name as a class name in second method i use a user defined name let's learn external css we will remove first save this page as CSS demo 
2.html remove this style tag and here let us open new page and write some css class here i am using our method that is tag name as a css class name directly write css no need to use the style tag here background is a blue and foreground color that is color color let us take a color white and now just save this page in the same folder by using style use extension dot css after saving let us check our folder in this folder you will find this is style style the icon will be different than html pages there is setting like icon a circular setting type okay now let's see we have saved our demo page here and style here let us open our demo page in that add a link tag to link that html that css file here link then href that is hyper reference our file name was style dot css type or relation is rel is equal to style sheet just check out output the external style will be applied here in this way we can create inline internal and external style sheet the best is external style sheet because it is very easy and to easy to use and manage suppose we 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 use 100 pages and we want to change the color background color of that page so it is very easy if we use a single style sheet for that 100 pages but in case of internal and inline it is very tedious task if you like this video please subscribe my channel thanks for watching